Honister Slate Mine is located at the top of Honister Pass within the mountain of Fleetwood Pike, roughly in the centre of the Lake District. And nearly four decades on since it originally closed in the 1980s, it is now a thriving activity centre. We were making our way to the mine via the local bus service just for something different to do and the weather was absolutely awful, so it was the perfect thing to do on a rainy day. Honister is the last working slate mine in England and produces Westmoreland Green Slate, a beautiful slate that has been formed over 450 million years and it's been extracted from the mine for centuries. Over more recent years, Honister Mine has diversified by offering some thrilling indoor and outdoor activities such as the Via Ferrata and mine tours and even climbing within the mine. Today, David and I were after a mine tour and it was the perfect thing to do on a horrible, wet and windy day. Though we were looking forward to the tour, we were fascinated just watching them work through the window here. As well as going inside the mine, you can climb around on the outside if you want, because for the thrill seeker, there are two forms of Via Ferrata. The classic version, which essentially uses the original miner's track up the steep outer incline of Fleetwood Pike, with the addition of a continuous cable, you're actually able to climb alongside the mountain. And there is also an extreme version of the Via Ferrata for those more adventurous, or as we call them, the mad people. Our tour begins with a history lesson. Then it's helmets on, get on the bus, and away we go. As soon as we're inside, the tour begins, and the first thing we're informed about is that Honister Slate Mine was celebrating its 20th year anniversary, that is 20 years since its original reopening in March 1997. Our tour guide goes on to inform us that a decade after its original closure in the 1980s, the passion and vision of late businessman Mark Weir and his team saw abandoned buildings, machinery and mine workings come to life once again, as I said, in March 1997. As well as restarting the slate production, the family also begun the first ever mine tours deep inside the mighty Fleetwood Pike, and I must say, it is very impressive indeed. We were also informed that slate production at Honister is now at an all-time high, exporting products like kitchenware, signage and flooring to locations across Europe, the USA and Asia. One of the items of information that both Dave and I found amazing was that in the past only 20% of the slate mined went out as product. Now, with modern mining techniques and the vast array of different products that Honister produces, that has increased to 99%. Just 1% is wasted. That's fantastic.
we're also informed that current co-owner Joe Weir is rightly proud of all the people who have helped him make it such an important part of the community once again. It certainly is an impressive place. With classical concerts held inside, making the most of the excellent acoustics within the mine, the classic and the extreme Via Ferrata, the climb the mountain experience, the mountain tours and the selling of products, I think this place has really got its act together. And all because a man had a vision and was prepared to take a huge risk. Boy, was it worth it. Mark Weir sadly lost his life in a helicopter accident, but he'd be very pleased to realise that his vision and this mine, well, will probably live on forever. Lots of my friends and indeed members of the Fat Boys on Tour team have visited this place, and some of them have had goes on the Via Ferrata, done the mine climbing and taken the tour. Everyone without exception has said how excellent it is. And I've bought plenty of products over the years, I can assure you. As we waited at Honister YHA for our bus, we both agreed that this was another excellent day at Honister Mine. We thoroughly recommend it to you, well worth a visit, especially if the weather conditions are such that you can't get out in the fells. Anyway, we'll see you out there. <laughs>